lesson 14. The next Kriya will be discussed now. Before we do that, I'd like to come back to Dauti. Yoga is a science that is designed to heal and lead to sattva or harmony. Now try to imagine what happens if you if you would perform Dauti on a ritual basis, meaning that you do it regularly as part of your uh, yoga practice. Is that healing? Is that leading to harmony? In my imagination, it is very harmful. Because swallowing that piece of cloth making it end up in your stomach and pulling it out again, that does several things. But most important is that it removes or damages the mucus layer that protects your tissue in the esophagus and in the stomach. The stomach has a, a generous layer of mucus because there is acid involved in the digestive process that would otherwise burn a hole in your stomach if there is no mucus. Every time you take out the piece of cloth it will remove part of that layer of mu mucus that protects your stomach. It's damaging, it's not. So what I'm trying to get at here is that as, as a sensible, critically thinking human being you should scratch your head and ask yourself, can this really be that we should do something like this that can potentially seriously damage my health? It doesn't fit in the picture that yoga gives us that it's supposed to heal, not damage. Well, the same goes for the next Kriya, which is called Vashti, Sutra 26. De describes Vashti. Then Vashti is described seated in water up to the navel in Utkatasana, resting the body on the toes of the feet, the heels pressing against the buttocks. Insert a small bamboo tube into the anus and contract the anus so as to draw water in. <laughs> now, the good part shake it and then expel it. Can you imagine? <laughs> Such washing is called Vashti. These days, retreats are very popular. Yoga retreats, spiritual retreats. And I noticed that one of the regular uh, occurring practices they, they let you do as a visitor of a retreat is uh, a daily cleansing of the um, of the bowels, the intestines, with um, enema. Enema. It's like a big. Uh, it's like a big uh, uh, injection device with which you pump water into the anus to to cleanse it. Now, this is in fact a medical device. It's not a spiritual or a ritual device. It's a medical device. If you have serious problems with uh, excretion, passing stool, that you are obstipated, you can loosen it using an enema. But if you use it on a ritual basis, meaning regularly, same as with Dauti, you're going to damage your intestines. So, Let's just not even further consider the possibility that you do this. The reality or the truth is much more beautiful once you start seeing the picture. We had Dauti. In Dauti, you visualize energy coming down, or if you cannot imagine energy yet, you use the visualization of swallowing a piece of cloth. Energy down, or a piece of cloth down, and energy up. 
piece of cloth going up. Now, what you do in Vashti is according to the same principle. You imagine sucking up water through the anus. Shake and expel. And expel. It starts looking like something now, doesn't it? Energy in, through the top. Energy out, through the top. Energy in, through the bottom. Energy out, through the bottom. Next week it becomes more interesting. We build upon this. Pay attention also that the center of all this seems to be Manipura Chakra. Next week, that will become clear that indeed Manipura Chakra is an important element of the Kriya sequence. But this, this is what you do. You do not pr practice Vashti alone. You start with Dauti, and then you add Vashti to it. And if you feel like, you can repeat it. It's just finger practice this. So that when lesson 19 comes around, it's very natural to start bringing structure into this. And then you have Pranayama, because Pranayama is structured with counting, with uh, um, maintaining the energy, before you expel it. Here you have no structure, you, you, there's no counting, there's no holding the energy. It's just to make you familiar with the concept, with the principle of controlling energy. Yeah? So let's just give it a try. This is Vashti, followed by Nada, concentration. 20 minutes. How long do you focus on this? Same answer as in the previous session. As long as you feel interest. As long as you're engaged, it works. The moment that you lose interest, you're done. You switch to concentration on nada. Okay?